Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing with our... <clears throat> excuse me. With our Fallout 4 playthrough. Uh, after this I'm going to film a Call of Duty Cold War video. Uh, but, so this is part 3 of our playthrough, I think. Yeah, part 3. So, we're going to get on into the video. Uh, first things first, I'm going to check to see if there's anything new in the creation flow. Alrighty, let's get on in here. Anything new? Alright, nothing. Nothing for free. I already own all that. Alrighty, let's continue. The last time we, yeah, we were in Diamond City, we are going to work on some of the missions for Nick Valentine. So that we can find the Institute and finish the main quest. Once we finish the main quest line for the game, I'll start working on the DLCs. So... I'm just gonna go pet my doggo really quick. She's sleeping. I'm gonna go say hi to my doggo. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, never mind. Sorry. Never mind. It looked like she didn't want to be bothered. But I'm actually looking at new games to do. Um, I think Assassin's Creed Valhalla is. Good, so. Holy shit. Now that is some armor. Yes. Uh, data. Reunions. Discuss findings with Piper. Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Oh, sorry, I gotta check out my phone. Need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son, but that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. Yeah, before this, before I actually got on here, I was filming a he Call of Duty Warzone trouble. video. The Institute. But one Don't of my friends worry. kept on lagging out. One of my I've friends had to get off. These creeps for and I'm not. It, <laughs> for me, it doesn't feel so good with mad. doing a multiplayer You've game like Warzone, basically by Fair myself. Enough. It doesn't feel. Sometimes I don't. They snatch what is it? I don't really have the feeling for that. And sometimes they leave old. With Warzone and Battle Royale games, I'm more with there, playing with people. But if it's like normal day, multiplayer mode, there's I'm one thing good to just really play by myself against people. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. A man like that would have had access, in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? Yeah, if only. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. 
If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Hmm. I think Piper will head there on my own. Oh, okay, right. never mind. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get you a boy back. Just a few more steps. While you yeah. two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. I'm gonna take Piper with hey, us. Hey, Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. I should get going. All right. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm not really gonna work with the power armor. Well, now that actually my mic's working in this video, um, hey, what can I do? We got Shiny Helmet Man, which is the name of the character. That's kind of what I named him. I said that in the last video, but I didn't realize that the mic wasn't working until after. But I had so much mishaps yesterday. I wanted to make three videos, and two of them went in post. So it said it was posting, but it wouldn't save. So I was just sitting there making the video, thinking it was running, and that it would save, but it, it didn't. So you kind of missed out on a few stuff. But that's really all. But and then yesterday, Mike's not working, so this has been crazy. Place located near, uh, yeah, actually, right there, Park Street Station. We'll fast travel there and then we'll start uh, heading the rest of the way. Before I finish the game, though, I do there is a few side missions that I want to do, especially um, Speak of the Devil and From Hell because I want to get the BFG because that's actually a really nice weapon and. The uh, XO2 or whatever it is, that power armor from Speak of the Devil is one of my favorite power armors. Because, you, like, I know with the Hellfire and that power armor, you can put Brotherhood Steel Paints on it. And I like how they look. Like, trust me, if I could right now, I would be doing a modded play, uh, playthrough, but... PlayStation and their Fallout 4 mods, they don't have a lot of good ones. So I'll go to like try and find mods, but they don't have any of the ones that I'm looking for. I'll be trying to find like the ones that actually have the, 
the realistic modern guns, not the what they have here, better outfits and armor, things like that, but they don't have them. Done research, the only ones that they have like that are all on the Xbox, which I wouldn't, I never understand. Yeah, good neighbor. I can carry something if you need me to. That right there is just cool. I like how it looks. Is this? Not a big fan of using that on my pal on my mini guns if I ever, when I use them. Good neighbor. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Sure. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Steps to... First time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Okay. He ain't one of us. A little bloodthirsty, are we? Fortunately, you picked the right town. <laughs> I like you already. Walk into a new place, make a show of dominance. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember. Who's in charge? Just can't wait to actually get some of the uh, silver shroud stuff done. Do I actually have that radio? Yes. Calling all silver shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Ken Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. Galaxy News Radio. Going to try and get a dumpster on the guy's head. Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slaying in Scully Square. Just uh, down this alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours. Uh, perhaps I'll just call him. Now, if, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. Your wallet. And that snazzy briefcase you're carrying. Hand them over. Now. I most certainly will not. Do you have any idea who... Oh, jeez Louise. Why'd you go and do that? Because he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? Now, let's see what's in this fancy case. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I never walk out on you. Alright, let's head on down. I love the Silver Shot radio just listening to Dr. everything. Amari? Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. 
I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No, I will not. Now, do you have it? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Ugh. I actually might have to just go to bed. I don't know. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology yeah, being what it is, tomorrow. the brain implant so. could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to save this, because... So, right now, it is... I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank Let's me see, when we've found your son. It is... All right. I'll just Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, it's 9.58. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for and tomorrow. If I start cackling like an old so, grizzled mercenary, yeah, pull me out, tomorrow, okay? To actually post this, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Download it to a hard Let's drive and all this kind of you. stuff. A USB hard drive. Go to my computer and I actually I want to, to edit this video. Me, There's Mr. something Valentine. I want to add. I want to start adding to a lot of my videos. Functions so. could be dire. Are you feeling any different? Excellent. A lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. All right, let's get on into this. But yeah, I worked on a uh, whole intro that I want to add, start adding to my videos. And I just want to try, basically, I'm going to wait until tomorrow for me to edit it. I got a whole thing I gotta do. Brainwave migration between so, the transplant if it and works, it'll work. Coming from the you'll tell there's going to be a lot different from the beginning of the video We're going to load than my other ones. The but I will start find. once I then actually start doing it. I'm going to start stable. working it more. I'm going to start saving up money so I can actually don't have to use my other parents' computer to edit it. I'm going to save up to buy myself uh, my own little laptop to edit videos. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Uh, how this is, I'm just gonna this is the earliest one. intact memory I can find. So. It's actually pretty cool how we can actually have Kellogg's in the Nevada Turn desert. The goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are all citizens Remember, of the 
you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting the, uh, at first. Desert, with the, uh, whole this doesn't that. seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in Kellogg temporal sequence. There. Try it's that really one. Fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. So I guess maybe when I guess what really what is going on in his mind during that whole time of us basically going through that thing. So basically all that what he was saying was basically stuff. How that did you he think this, this was gonna end happened. Kellogg? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. It's cause because of him being a father, he knew that how like how much father's instincts will go on for our character basically so he knew that there was nothing well, that would be able to we seem stop to be us. getting closer try this next one mr kellogg i'm glad you decided to meet with me so you're with the institute getting warmer one of these has got to tell us something we are running out of brain here Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. So actually, fun fact about this guy's actually. Did you know that at the beginning of the game, the cutscene where we're actually inside the computers are still working. We're actually not inside the vault. We're actually in this exact area because when we're in here, Pod C six, down the hall near the end. All we see is this, and basically all they had was a wall right there. And basically, it was a little darker and all that, so... This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Everything's going to be fine. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, 
They won't be able to hide from him for long. Come here. Come here. I, I found cool another intact memory. Thing he says there. That Whenever you're cool. ready. Alright, let's hurry up and get this done with. And this is actually the last one. Is that your son? Huh. This appears to be a very recent memory. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the thing? kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Yeah, it's sad. But there's no going back. Entire family. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. You're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Well, some heads are going to roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over. But the dreaming. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. It's all over. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, 
I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. do the glowing sea just yet i'm gonna leave it off soon nick hope you got what you were looking for inside my head <laughs> that was right i should have killed you when you were on ice you want to try for round two let's go what what are you talking about wait were you just playing a joke on me that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Sounds like Ellie needs... <sighs> Actually, I'll just post this one, and I'll make one tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I'll do the same. I'll just make a video and all that. Because then hey I can everyone. actually have everything ready and I'll actually know what I need to do. Shoot the Whoever this brotherhood is now, I know you all are doing your own thing, that. but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on it? Husky the other day. Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh. All right, all right. We're getting off track. What was it? I say. Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef How's with that head. But right, stay focused. Now, I want so everyone to keep the Institute in mind. Cities. When someone Who starts acting funny. Sanctuary. When people You're are doing things them, they don't normally do. But I'll sell you a steak in when it. family starts Hundred pushing you away Wait, for no, no reason. Ten? We all know yeah, who's behind thanks. that kind of shit. But and the only okay. way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us. us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! Hancock knows what's what. during the speech. Always does. Cleo. Sir? Sir? Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Hey, Cleo. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Let's see what you have. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it.
get some of that ammo. Um. So I'm gonna leave this off here. We'll leave this video off here, and tomorrow I will continue with the. Let's see here, glowing sea. We'll head on out to the glowing sea and find Virgil, and basically do that mission, and work on all that. So please like and subscribe. It help the channel out a lot. And uh, have a nice, have the nice uh, rest of your day or night or whatever time it is. See you in the next video.